you Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Oh, yeah, of course. Carefully now. Holy cow, that looks like such a fire hazard. There be light. That was that was God he quoted right there, by the way. It's dark. Dark like the grave. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here for a second. You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really? You are an ugly, ugly man. That was just uncalled for. Oh, jeez. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm scared. I'm, I'm stopping right here first. I'm afraid I won't make it in time. Brother, on, off, on, off. Spooky! Success. All right, let's go. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure. Just takes a light touch. I got this. Good. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. You spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Dig? I got it. This safe will be tough. This safe will be tough to done. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Sally, don't worry, no mind. Straight way I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Here we go. Hello, assorted meatheads and lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper, grab him, man. And I'm out. Peace. Why didn't you shoot him right then, Carmelita? Come on, game. Come on. I know that, like, logic has no place here, but at least try and give it a little bit. <laughs> You've got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Sounds hot. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Carmelita, we've done this song and dance at least 37 times. Like, <laughs> you may as well just let me go at this point. Bum bum. Come on, Carmelita. Don't try and predict any shots or anything. Shoot exactly where I'm standing at the moment you shoot. Don't shoot ahead. That would be ridiculous. Absolutely foolish. Almost lost what? I don't think you've come close to hitting me once yet. I'm coming to get you. Man, that was quick. Inspector Fox. Man, you're in it again. How did she miss? Hope that man will work both ways. That's right. Hide in the sewers like the rat you are. Carmelita confirmed worst cop ever. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, searcher. We are all in need of peace. You're really whole hog on this dream time stuff, huh? My mind is clear. Like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, 
It's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Maybe some popcorn? A large soda? Job complete. Man, I'm good. What? I'm still only at 1%? Where's my next percent? I deserve to be at 2% right now. Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle the situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find him. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Good plan, Bentley. Good plan. Solid. I'm in. As soon as the screen loads. There we go. New training challenges are available for Sly and Bentley. Uh, let's go ahead and get them done, because the sooner I do them, the sooner I don't ever have to do it again. Because this is literally just tutorial stuff. I already know how to do all of this, but I, it, I'm, it probably doesn't even have anything to do with 100%ing the game, but I'm going to do it anyways. All right, Bentley. Let me have it. In order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear you. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing the circle button. This guy looks like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. That's right. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. Easy. Check it out. I'm a master pickpocket. Bam. Like a boss. Give me my money. Okay, that's enough of that guy. It won't always be that easy. Guards are usually on the move. As long as I don't bump into them, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, smooth talker. Try robbing this guy. So Bentley somehow captured these guys, keeps them suspended above, and then releases them onto the ground for practice. And once they're released onto the ground, they just move around normally like everything's cool. And then after we're done using them for practice, Bentley straight up murders them. Seems cool. Great, so way. Great. Now, as any good thief knows, a job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm gonna have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Whoa, hold up. Ready, set, go. This isn't dangerous at all. Can't touch this. You done? There you go. There you go. Oh, you're dead. Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Spread by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds. And then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. Wow, you're a douche, Bentley. You're a douche. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Bentley, why are you trying to get me killed? This seems really counterproductive. Like, we could have just done some kind of sprint and dodging training. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If a guard hasn't seen you, you could sneak up behind him. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. 
Sneak up behind him and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Pause. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air, then the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna slam you down and give you the business. Let's go. Two-hit combo. Unfortunately, the slam makes noise. Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you. It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike. Try taking out both these guards without being caught. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, man. Playing games like this when you're older and looking back on it is just, it's great. It's great. You pick up on stuff that you would have never picked up on as a child. Do, do, do. Bam. Wrecked. Nice work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. I pity the fool. Now for the showstopper. See that boat slug up above? That poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah? Feel like dropping it on his head? Always. Oh, yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. Hooray! Man, I'm good. Look for those buttons around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? I feel you, Bentley. I get what you're saying. I understand what you're putting down. Holy cow, that was such a long training thing. Jeez. Well, we just got three more to go. Let's get it done. Got another one of these. All right. I'm really gonna test your climbing skills here. You can use your cane to swing from hook. Just jump and press the circle button again to latch on. This was like one of the very first uh, climbing, m jumping abilities you learn in the original Sly. It's one of the first things you encounter. I hear that. Press the circle button near that pipe to latch on and climb. Do, 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 do. Bentley, this is like stupidly easy, man. Come on, give me a challenge. I just love pipes. Is that okay? Sure, they're a thief's best friend, but don't forget wall hooks. How could I forget the lovable wall hook? Press the circle button to attach. Of course. The <laughs> Even Sly knows that this game is highly... Analog stick before jumping. Try getting over this wall. I've already done it, Bentley. Even Sly knows that this game heavily relies on circle, just like KH heavily relies on triangle. I give. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kind of tricky. It was all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. I just jumped through the red laser stuff. Isn't that supposed to hurt me? Like, come on, game. Look, the little percent thing came up. I didn't go up any percent, but it came up. So I assume that means that this does affect my percentage of the game. Let's go ahead and get the last Sly one done. As you know, we sometimes need reconnaissance photographs to plan for a heist. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocucop with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. All right, get used to this, guys. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to I already look, know. And the right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. No problem. I wish I could jump like that normally. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. Yeah, get used to the uh, camera function, guys, because, man, we're going to end up using this a lot. Just like in Sly 2. 
Because, I yeah, we used it a good bit in Sly 2 as well, if memory serves me well. Which it normally doesn't, but in this case I'm pretty sure it does. Come on, there we go. 